Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna show, how to dual boot Mac OS Ventura, and Windows 11 on a PC, or laptop, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now, let's begin. For making a precise guide, I have already installed Mac OS Ventura on this PC. To install Mac OS Ventura for yourself, follow the guide from the I button. Proceeding further, Windows 11 bootable USB is also required. For creating USB for yourself, follow the guide from the I button. And now after getting everything ready, you'll need to allocate space for Windows 11. For that, open Disk Utility, from View, select Show All Devices, and now select your main drive instead of any partition, and click on Partition icon. Click on the plus button, and then select add partition form the prompt, and now create partition according to your need, however, I recommend creating a partition above 60 GB. After allocating the size, click on apply, and proceed with the prompts. After partitioning is done, click on Done, and close Disk Utility. And now, plug Windows 11 bootable USB, restart your PC, and boot to boot menu. Now, select your USB, partition 1, followed by the UEFI prefix and press Enter to boot. And now, proceed with the installer. When a drive partition set up, select the drive you created for Windows 11. You can determine it by the size of the partition, although most of the time it will be the last partition of drive. After selecting it, click on Delete. Click on OK, and after the partition is deleted, again select it, and click on Next. And Windows 11 will be installed in a while. Windows 11 setup screen appeared, proceed with it. And now, Windows 11 is installed successfully, I highly recommend updating it after installation, as required drivers will be installed automatically.
After update process is done, click on restart now to finish the process. After the restart, check again for update, and if there's no update left, restart your PC, and boot to BIOS. In BIOS, go to Boot tab, and change the boot order, set UEFI OS as the first boot option, and exit BIOS saving changes. As of now, everything is done, dual boot will also work, but, you'll need to specify the path for both the OS. If you don't do so, resetting NVRAM will result in a broken dual boot configuration. Everything will be working fine, as long as you don't reset the NVRAM. A separate guide for creating the Windows entry, will be soon published, and will be updated in the description as well. and, successfully booted to Windows 11, let me show you specification as well. And now, it's time for Mac OS. and successfully booted to Mac OS as well. Let me show you the system specification. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.